welcome back all of you this class i am going to discuss about different types of input unit last class we studied about different types of system softwares or different types of softwares now before starting this topic just recollect what do you mean by input input means something which we are giving to the computer is known as input what is input unit input unit means it's a device which will accept input from the user and which then converted into binary format i told you what do you mean by binary format binary uh, format means it consists of only zero and one is there so whatever the input we are giving to the convert uh, uh, to the computer through the input device the input device will convert that input into in the form of zeros and ones and which then con uh, which then transmitted to the system or which then uh, transmitted to the computer so input unit accept input from the user and which will be converted into another format known as zero in the form of zeros and ones and so that it can understood by the system so what are the different types of input unit that you know that commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse there are different types of input devices are available keyboard mouse light pen optical mark reader smart card reader barcode reader qr code reader biometric sensor touch screen microphone web camera all these are the different types of input devices these devices we are using in our day to day life so first we can see about keyboard keyboard is the commonly used input device when we press a key on the keyboard automatically it will convert that key into an electrical pulse and which then converted into zeros and by uh, ones format and which then transmitted to the computer when you press a key on the keyboard it sends it convert that key into a digital format digital code means it's converted that into a zeros and one format which then transmitted into the key into the computer once again i'll repeat when you press a key on the keyboard it sends it identify the key and which then converted into another format known as binary format or it will then converted into zeros and ones format and which then transmitted to the computer see then when you press a key on the keyboard it sends a digital key code to the computer that determine which key is which key you pressed on the keyboard when you press a key on the keyboard internally that key is converted into zeros and one format and which then transmitted to the computer so there is a process internally happening happening in when you press a key on the keyboard keyboard is the commonly used input device now we can see the next type of input device is mouse that's all, that also everybody is using so mouse is a input device or it is a pointing device mouse is a pointing device there is a pointer is there using that pointer you can select item from the uh, item from the screen see i can point this mouse or this uh, word from the screen and i can select this by, uh, by using this pointer so mouse is a pointing device normally in older age uh, cases there will be a roller under this mouse when you move the mouse the movement of our hand will identify and which then converted into binary digit format and with the, uh, using that binary digit it will identify the position on the of the mouse on the screen 
nowadays that roller is not there there will be a light sensing device is there there will be a light sensing device is there so when you move the mouse on the ha mouse on your uh, 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 table or wherever you are keeping that mouse it convert the movement of the user's hand into a unique code the unique code means it will convert the user's movement um, movement of the user's hand into a binary digit that is zeros and ones format which which identify the position of the pointer on the screen so mouse is a pointing device with a roller at its, at its base or light sensing device at its base when you move the mouse the movement of our, our hand uses move, uh, hands movement is identified and which then converted into a binary digit which then passed to the computer it convert the movement of the users and into unique set of binary digit representing the position of the mouse at the particular instance when you move the mouse on mouse on your uh, table or wherever wherever you kept the mouse when you move the mouse mouse the user's hands movement is identified and which then converted into a binary digit format and that digit identify the position of the mouse pointer on the screen that is the way it is identify which object you are pointing there the mouse pointer is pointing which object so once again read about the mouse mouse is a pointing device with a roller at, at its base or with a light sensing device at its base this is used to identify the position of the pointer on the screen it convert the movement of the user's hands into a unique set of binary code or into a, its a binary format which then identify the position of the mouse at a particular point so that is about your mouse and the next type of input device is light pen light pen is a pen like device it is just like a pen pen like device using that pen you can select item from your screen just like mouse it is a pen using the pen you can select an item from the screen and using this pen you can draw the figures on the screen also this pen consists of a photo cell is there this photo cell identify where you touch where you touch on the screen using that it will convert that position will be converted into a binary format which then transmitted to the computer system see that i'll show you the picture of the light pen light pen is a pen like device it is a pen like device see that it's a pen like device and using this pen you can select the item from the screen you can select the item from the screen and this pen consists of a small circuit that circuit is known as photo cell that pen consists of a small circuit is there that for or that circuit is known as photo cell that circuit is capable to identify the position on the screen and that was depending on the position it will the computer will identify which item is selected or which item is pointed there just read then it is a pen like device that can be used to select any item from the screen this pen consists of a photo cell which is capable of sensing the position on the screen which is sensing the position on the screen and that position is converted into a binary format which then transmitted to the computer it's then con con uh, transmitted to the cpu 
So that is all about your light pen, which is also an input device. You are selecting an item from the screen. So which then transmitted to the CPU. That is why it is an input device. Now we can see what is the next type of input device. Next type of input device is optical mark reader. Optical mark reader. That also you know that optical mark reader means OMR. When I say OMR means you can identify OMR sheet. You know OMR sheet. You used in your board exam. The front page of your OM, uh, your answer sheet. You fill certain, uh, uh, certain circles over there. After typing your register number, below that register number, there are certain uh, dark, uh, sorry, circles will be there. You will darken that circle. Depends upon the digits of your uh, uh, register number. So, OMR, OMR means optical mark reader. See the picture, then you will identify what is this OMR. You know that this type of sheet, this is known as OMR sheet. See, this is OMR, that is OMR reader. When we place the OMR sheet over there, it will identify the position where you mark the dark, where which circle you mark. Depends upon that mark the circle, it convert that into a binary format. The position of the page, position of the page will be converted into a binary format which then transmitted to the cpu so this is this type of this type of marking you used in board exam front the front page of your answer sheet where you mark your register number the alphabets of your name is marked over there that is marked darkened there so this is normally used in this type of sheets are normally used in psc exam and bank text or bank uh, test also this type of sheet is using when you mark it over here see this is yeah, there will be normally there will be that will be used in multiple choice uh, questions a b c d for a b c d four options will be there when user is marking the a option so when we place that sheet on the omr uh, omr device that position will be identify the device and that position is converted into a binary format, which then transmitted to the CPU. Now read that answer. So OMR is a scanner device, which is capable to read the mark of pencil or pen made on a predefined position of the OMR sheet. OMR is a special type of predefined form. So this is OMR. This sheet is known as OMR sheet. This sheet is known as OMR sheet. So it is a predefined, pre-printed form are designed with boxes or circles that can be bubbled by using pen or pencil. This scanner convert the scanned data into electrical pulses and transmit it to the system. In electrical pulses means you just keep it in mind that it is binary format. The position where that uh, scanner find the dark mark, which then converted into binary format and which then transmitted to the computer or transmitted to the CPU. This is normally used for MC, MCQ answer sheet. So that is all about your OMR. So that is optical mark reader. Optical mark reader. Next type of Input devices, smart card reader, that also everybody know, smart card reader, everybody know about debit, uh, debit card, credit card, ATM, ATM card, all this, all these cards are read by using a smart card reader, the content inside the smart card, which then identify or read by using a smart card reader. After that, that will be transmitted to the CPU. See that I'll show you the picture, then it's easy for you to identify the device. Smart card reader. 
see that this is this is normally using in different types of shops this is a smart card it consists of a small chip is there this chip will store the personal information about a, uh, about a person those are handling that card the chip consists of a consists of personal information about the person those are handling that card and when this chip when this card is inserted into this machine this machine will read the content of this chip and which then transmitted to the uh, cpu so this device is known as a smart card reader you can see this type of device in your different types of shops different types of malls when you give your smart uh, when you give your credit card or debit card they will insert that card into this machine and that machine will read the content from that card content of the chip from that card and after that it will transmit it to the cpu so that is another type of input device now you read that one this device is used to read the content from credit or debit card a smart card is a physical card this is known as smart card it's it's a physical card that has been embedded with an integrated chip a small circuit chip means just a small circuit just keep it that way it's a small circuit that acting as a security token which can hold certain amount of personal personal data that chip will hold certain amount of personal data and this smart card reader machine is used to read the content of this card or content of this chip so that is another input device so that means it is read in the content and which is given to the cpu or given to the computer that is why it is an input device next next type of input device is barcode reader that also you know that barcode reader just see the picture then you will identify what is this barcode reader see that this is barcode reader this is known as this picture this is known as barcode you can see when you turn the back side of your notebook you can see this barcode on the back side of your textbook it will be there in the back of your notebook also so this barcode is a sequence of lines it is a sequence of lines with a different height and width see that once again i'll say barcode is a sequence of lines with a different height and width each item has different 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 set of barcodes are there using that barcode that item is identified depends upon the height and width of that barcode that item item is identified so using this device this barcode can be read using this device this will be that barcode will be read this device consists of a lens a light sensor and a light source is there this device this barcode device consists of a light source a lens and a light sensor is there it consists of a once again i'll repeat it consists of a light source a lens and a light sensor is there which then that light sensor will identify the bars in that barcode and which then converted it that circuit that device that circuit consist uh, that device consists of a circuit which analyzes this barcode what the barcode which is read by using this light sensing device or by using this light sensor which that circuit will identify this barcode and after that it will be sent to the cpu so once again this is known as barcode this is known as barcode this device is known as barcode reader this device consists of a light source is there that means it consists of a uh, device which is used to send the light and a lens is there and a light scanner is there light sensor is there light source a lens and a light sensor which translate the optical pulses into electrical signals it consists of a small circuit is there 
that circuit will analyze the barcode which read by the light sensing device or which read by the sen sensor and which then sends to the CPU. Just read the notes. Barcode is a sequence of lines of different height and width. This will be printed over various product. This device is used to read, read this code. That means this barcode, the barcode reader is used to read this code. This device consists of a light source, a lens and a light sensor which translate optical pulses into electrical signals. The device consists of a circuit. This device consists of a circuit which analyzes the barcode image and provided by the sensor and sends to the computer. See that? Once again, I'll repeat barcode reader. It's a device which consists of which consists of a light source, lens, and a light sensor which convert optical impulses into electrical signals. The device consists of a small circuit which analyze the images or which analyze the image that is read by this light sensing device and which then transmitted to the CPU. That is all about your barcode data. I think you understood what I told you. So, this is the barcode reader. Now, we can see the next input device. Next input device is QR code. QR code reader. QR means quick response code reader. QR, quick response code reader. QR code reader means, that also everybody know that. Everybody using uh, mobile phones, no? You can open WhatsApp of your mobile phone in your uh, computer, in your laptop. For that, uh, you are using a uh, uh, code is reading there. Quick response code is reading there. After that only, your uh, mobile phone, WhatsApp, you are opening in the uh, laptop. I will show you the picture. Then it is easy for you to identify before I am explaining that thing. See that. This is the picture. QR code reader. Did you see this type of code anywhere? Yes, you know that. Yes. So, this type of code is known as QR code, quick response code. It is a special kind, uh, type of code that can scan by using smartphone app. This type of code can be scanned by using mobile phone app. There is an app is there. Using that app, this type of code can be scanned, which is normally used to open different types of websites. When you use net, when you use my, uh, net in your screen, you have if you want to open any website, you have to type the website address over there. Instead of typing the website, if you if they, if that website has a barcode like this or bar, uh, QR code like this. Then if you scan that QR code, automatically that website will be opened. So that is your QR code reader. What is what's the full form of QR? Q response code. Q response code. So that is another type of input device. Next is biometric sensor. That also everybody know. This biometric sensor is used in our school. For marking the attendance every day morning, you are using that. I will show you the picture. Then it is easy to recollect that device. See that? Did you see this picture? Did you see this image anywhere in your school? Yes, it is there. By using this device, you are marking your attendance daily. So, see that it is used to identify a person on the basis of their behavioral trait. So that means your this device is used to scan your eyes. This can be used to, to scan your eyes, your fingerprints. 
a DNA. So, this the biometric sensor is used to scan eyes, fingerprints and DNA. It is normally used for marking attendance. That also you know that. It can be used for it can be used as a security device. So this is another type of input device. Next, we can see the next type of input device. Next type of input device is touch screen. Touch screen also everybody know that. Every day you are using your mobile phone. That mobile phone is that screen is a touch screen. You are using ATM. That screen is a touch screen. See that. So, for using that touch screen, you can select item from the device. See, this is a touch screen. You are selecting an item by using your finger. Touch screen is found in all the smartphones, ATM machines to choose the item from the screen. It consists of a that touch screen that consists of a touch sensitive panel, transparent panel is there. When we touch on here that screen, automatically that position is identified and which then that position is converted into a binary format, which then converted to the CPU. It consists of a touch sensitive panel is there, touch sensitive transparent panel which allows the user to touch on the screen, screen surface to select the object. Actually what is happening there, when you touch on that screen, that position is identified and that position is internally converted into a binary digit or binary format which then transmitted to the CPU. That is done in the touch sensitive screen. There will be a touch sensitive transparent panel is there. Now we can see the next type of input device is microphone web camera. Microphone. Did you heard about that word microphone? See this picture? This is a microphone. This is microphone. And this is web camera. Now, when you attend your online meet, you will use your mic. You are giving your audio to this computer. Your sound. Sound is you are storing or passing to the computer, to the CPU. So there that mic is known as input device. Another name of that one is your microphone. Using this microphone, you are giving your audio to the CPU. Web camera. It is used to scan the images. And that image is passed to the CPU. So audio and video, audio and images captured by using microphone and web camera which then transmitted to the processor transmitting for the processor this is another type of input device so these are the different types of input devices used in computer just recollect keyboard mouse keyboard and mouse are the commonly used input device light pen it's a pen like device which is used to select an item from the monitor or using this pen you can draw the figures. Optical mark reader. See that what is the example I given to you? This is optical mark reader. It is used not the device. Optical OMR sheet is used in your uh, uh, front page of your board exam, first page of your board exam, that is not actually the OMR sheet where you have bubbled uh, your register number and your name. So that type of paper can be read by using OMR sheet or, or sorry, OMR reader. Second one, is, next one is smart card reader. Smart card reader is used to read the content of your debit card or credit card. Next is barcode reader. I told you an example. You can see this barcode and the back of your textbook. That can be read by using it. That barcode can be read by using a barcode reader. Next is quick response code. Quick response code means that is a code which is used to identify the website. 
I given an example that uh, your WhatsApp can be opened in your laptop by using barcode reader and biometric sensor which we used in our school to mark the attendance. Next is touch screen. That also I given an example. Your mobile phone is a touch screen. Uh, mobile phone consists of a touch screen. Your ATM screen, ATM machine is using a touch screen. Microphone and web camera. Every day for your Google Meet, you are using your mic and web camera. That is another input device. This is all about your different types of input device. Okay. Study this topic. Listen to the audio repeatedly and study it. Now we can see the next topic in next class. Thank you children.